So here's something that's not new to a lot of you, and it's not new to the industry, but it's new to me. I can't believe that I've overlooked this thing. If you follow the channel at all, you know that we like AKs. AK designs, AK inspired guns, AK actions and systems. And we also love shotguns because we all know bigger is better. And they don't get a whole lot bigger than a slug. But this is a shotgun that's not similar to an AK. It is an AK in 12 gauge. You're gonna like this. So this is the SDS Imports Lynx. It is a 12 gauge semi-auto uh, AK style gun. And I use the word style loosely. It's, it's not style, it's, it's an AK. Uh, the factory that these are built in has been making AKs for about 50 years. They've been making type 56s for almost 50 years. So they know their way around an AK system. So let's get some of the specs out of the way. It's a semi-auto, fixed right side charging handle, 19 inch chrome line barrel, threaded, and it has a hammer forged bolt. Uh, it will take most AK accessories. The stocks are similar uh, and, and compatible and interchangeable. The trigger system is compatible and interchangeable. Um, it has an adjustable gas system. So you can run lighter loads or some of the light loads. Of course, you're going to have to experiment like any other semi-auto shotgun to find out what it likes for you and doesn't like. But it has a pretty wide range of things that it does like in my experience. You can dial the gas back so when you're running heavy slugs, you're not just over-gassing it, knocking the hell out of yourself needlessly. Uh, or you can open it up to run that lighter stuff. But this has something that I really like. This shotgun has a really cool feature in the bolt hold open device. So you can take a magazine that's loaded, fully loaded, and insert it as easy as that. Where the action is open, there's, there's no bolt carrier to be putting pressure on with that top round. And because this is designed to accept most accessories that will work with a Sega, you can go from this to this to this to this, to this, the 20 round drum. The more I look at this thing, the more features come to mind. Again, the bolt hold open device is one of the coolest ones for me because loading the larger magazines is such a pain in the rear end. Not a problem with this one. But I like the attention to detail. I like that you can run the safety selector with your trigger finger without having to take your hand off the gun. You, you don't have to leave a control position. You can operate it with that finger. So my mission today is a simple one. It's to run a few of these, a few of these, a few of these, and these.
So I'm not sure if it's love or if it's lust. I'm not really sure, uh, but I like it. I really, really like it. Um, I did get a chance to pound some rounds through the 12 round stick. I got a chance to put some rounds through the 12 round magazine. I got a chance to run uh, several of the fives. I did not get a chance um, to run the MD-20. And that is because I shot all the slugs that I brought with me. And um, going against their recommendations, I tried to run some of the, um, the bulk pack, you know, garbage, low brass stuff. And it, it fires more often than it doesn't, but that's that's not that's not any fun so i've got to come back with uh with some more decent ammunition and uh we'll get that uh, that md20 we'll give that a workout the recoil is not excessive by any stretch of the imagination it's a 12 gauge um you know so i'm not going to pretend that it doesn't have any recoil but it's very very manageable and something that i just absolutely love and maybe this is the case with some others none in my experience the bolt hold open the ability to take a loaded magazine and to insert it with one hand without this round this top round in the follower pushing on the bolt carrier and, and fighting you it's really really simple and uh, it's very fluid and you don't need another arm holding it over here and loading it with a with with another hand and I don't know to me that makes a whole lot of difference it's easy to operate um, and it's smooth it's really really smooth so anyway that's going to wrap things up for today the sds imports links 12 um, i like the primary arms micro uh, red dot on it it's nice and fast um, very clear easy to pick things up i uh, cited it in um, i don't know for practical accuracy i guess at about 40 yards um, and I'm running Sabo slugs today, the majority of them through a smooth barrel, so I'm not going to, to even try to get any you know, amazing amount of accuracy with it. I just wanted to function test it and shoot this baby more than anything else. I hope that you enjoyed this, uh, this video, this sneak peek through my eyes at the SDS Lynx 12. If you did, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe, subscribe to the channel if you don't already, uh, both on YouTube and on Full 30. We never know when the social justice warriors are gonna pull the rug out from under us on one or the other. So we wanna make sure we have our bases covered. Uh, come visit us over on Patreon. We've got some pretty cool sneak peek things that go on over there and the Patreon family's been extremely helpful. Um, and, and it's a lot fun to participate a little bit more behind the scenes you can follow us on instagram and we're probably most active on facebook at facebook.com slash gun test vids till next time have fun and be safe